Hey everybody, this is Shannon Courier with the St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund and coming up next on the SCF Highway to Hope podcast, we're starting a three-part series on health insurance and health care options. Joining us today is Allison McKay, Life and Health Benefits Agent at OOIDA. Here's a preview of our conversation. I know that you all work very hard for your money, so make sure you're insuring it and yourself wisely. If you already have policies in place, be sure that you understand what you are covered for and that it will be enough in the event you need to use it. Be sure that you have clear beneficiaries designated, that you have a power of attorneys in place, that you have additional names on your bank accounts, vehicles, and etc., and that you keep these up to date. If you have a significant life event, you might need to make a change. It's important that your beneficiaries or executors of your estate know where you have these coverages and where they need to call in the event that you are unable to. I really can't stress enough the importance of this. Welcome back to the SCF Highway to Hope podcast here on the Podwheels Network. I'm your host, Shannon Courier, Director of Philanthropy and Development with the St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund. As always, I'm joined by our podcast producer, Greg Thompson, who's also the executive producer of the Podwheels Network. As we mentioned in the opening, today's podcast is the first in a three-part series, and we're digging into the ins and outs of health insurance and health care options available to and beneficial to our trucking audience. Greg, this has been so such an important series, don't you think? Shannon, as usual, you're absolutely correct. Insurance is not one of those real exciting topics, but it is one of those really valuable topics, and that's why we've chosen to dive into it. Yeah, it's not an easy topic to discuss. There's a lot of details to it, a lot of terminology that can be difficult to understand, and it's not overly exciting. St. Christopher Fund is all about not just financial assistance for drivers and health and wellness, but part of health and wellness is education and sharing information on things that are beneficial to our driving community. We see a lot of applicants that apply with us that don't have insurance. By the time they apply with us and have a major issue like a heart attack and have huge medical bills, we hear a lot of feedback saying, now I really should have had insurance or maybe I really need to consider getting insurance. That's why this three-part series is important because we want to go ahead and put information out there talking to these experts in these industries about what's available, why it's important, how to go about it, answering those questions of what does this cover, what does it not cover. We can't cover everything, but I feel like we've covered a great deal in this series. I'll tell you what, that's for certain. You've brought forth some things that we really need to think about, and you've brought forth practical solutions. For instance, in this first episode in the series, we're going to be talking with Allison McKay with OOIDA. One of the things that OOIDA does for its members is that it provides insurance. And when you think about insurance, and you brought it up just a moment ago, It reminds me of the old commercial where the guy would say, you could pay me now or you can pay me later. The fact of it is, and you guys see this in your daily work, if you don't have insurance or you are underinsured, the cost on the back end, and you just referenced it, if you are a heart attack victim or you've had cancer or one of those long hospital stays or something that takes a long time with therapy, you're going to have a tremendous cost. Plus, you're going to be off of work. What do you do? And you've seen that. You work with people every day. When you talk about insurance and medical bills, that's one of the things, unfortunately, that St. Christopher Fund does not cover is medical bills. Main reason being because usually they're so high. If somebody has $100,000 in medical bills because they've had a heart attack and a hospital stay and they are without insurance and they need those bills paid, even a million dollars wouldn't go very far if you're having to pay off that kind of debt. So that's why we can't do that. We do talk to drivers and help them maybe get discounts on the bills that they owe, how to talk to doctors, how to get financial assistance for those things. We do those things behind the scenes with applicants. But if we can help answer some of the questions 
on the front end about insurance by talking to these professionals that we're talking to in this series, then maybe somebody will at least call and feel comfortable talking to one of these people about some kind of coverage, some kind of health care that will be beneficial to them to help alleviate a future problem. And just to be clear, the point that I was bringing up is that you see the crippling impact of those huge medical bills. And as you said, St. Christopher does not cover medical bills, but the fact that you've got that massive burden on you, it just impacts every part of your life. And if you're able to get a strategy for having insurance, later on in the series, we'll talk with someone who heads up a telemedicine company. If you're able to do some preventative things through telemedicine, you can really improve the quality of your life because you've got that financial assurance that you have insurance and you have resources that can keep you on the track to staying in good health. Right, because this series is not just about health insurance. It's also about health care options that are available to our listening audience. And that's, you know, our listening audience is typically truck drivers. But these options, two of them at least, are available to anybody, not just truck drivers. That's why it's so important being proactive. And it's just starting the conversation. Maybe you're not in a position to get health insurance right now. You're not in a position to make that decision. But going ahead and learning about it, getting the information and understanding how it works. So when you're ready to pull that trigger and get that insurance, you know how it works and you know what you're looking for. That's important. That's another reason why this series is so important to us. Well, Shannon, I think we've given folks a great backdrop to why we're doing this series. And let's dive right into part one in our interview with Allison McKay with OOIDA. Today, we're welcoming Allison McKay, Life and Health Agent from OOIDA to the SCF Podcast. Allison, welcome. Thank you for joining us to share a little bit of your knowledge about insurance. Hello. Thank you for having me today. Well, I can't say that people are going to say, oh my gosh, this is such an exciting topic, but (laughs) it's a very important topic because at St. Christopher Fund, we see a lot of drivers who do not have insurance. What we always want to do is make sure drivers know there are options available to them. OOIDA has been an important partner for St. Christopher Fund really from since day one. So we wanted to be sure and share everything that's available to drivers through your program. So we're ready to dive in if you're ready. I am ready. Okay. Well, let's start a little (laughs) bit about yourself. Tell us about you, like your role at OOIDA, how long you've been there, how you got into it, all the backstory. Give us all that. Yeah, my pleasure. I have had the pleasure of working at OOIDA for over 22 years. I actually started working for the association in 1999 as a switchboard operator and quickly transitioned over to the Life and Health Benefits Department. I became a licensed agent for OOIDA in 2005. I have actually referred several of our members to your guys' amazing charity. We sure appreciate that. You guys are an important piece of what we do because you have such a huge membership and a huge audience. I know our information gets out there because of what you all share on your end. So we greatly appreciate that. If you can, give us an overview of the types of coverages you offer at OOIDA and we can kind of dig into some of the details. But let's start with like an overview of what you guys offer. Absolutely. The coverages that I work with are the last things that individuals want to think or even talk about, and it's often the types of coverages that people opt not to obtain because they are elective. Some of the benefits that we offer here at OYDA in the Life and Health Benefits Department are going to be term life insurance, accidental death and dismemberment, short-term disability, occupational accident, identity theft, group minimum essential, dental and vision plans. That's a lot of offerings. And you're right. We do see a lot of drivers, well, really general population, but drivers too that don't think about these coverages and don't think they need them and don't think they can afford them, to be honest with you. A dental and vision as well. Those two jump out to me because we see a lot of drivers who need medical procedures done, but they have to have Mm -hmm. some dental work done first. 
that jumps out to me, just what we see on our end. So when it comes to health insurance, we know for small businesses, it's a challenge to offer insurance and to be able to afford insurance. So can you give our listeners an overview of what health care options are available? That's a great question. As we all know that right now, the future of health care insurance is uncertain. There is nothing, unfortunately, affordable about the Affordable Health Care Act. What I can tell you that if you are a small business owner and you're looking for a comprehensive health care plan, there are limited affordable options available. If you enrolled in a plan for $200 a month with no deductible, you more likely do not have a traditional comprehensive health care plan. With that being said, there are other health care options out on the market that are available for small business owners, such as MedShare, faith-based health care plans hospital indemnity, scheduled benefit plans, or even minimum essential plans. There's not a one-size-fits-all plan out there that fits each individual or family's needs. Do you guys offer all of those different types of health care options? We do not, unfortunately. We have had some comprehensive health care plans in the past. We're not able to offer them just because of the price and as well due to ACA. It's been difficult for us to obtain an affordable plan for the association. We deal with drivers in all 50 states, trying to find a plan that satisfies all 50 states' laws and regulations is impossible. Right now, we just have our minimum essential plan that we offer. Do the states require these coverages? You mentioned meeting the obligations of different states. What does that entail and how do you even try to make that happen? There are a handful of states that still mandate you to carry a compliant plan in order for you to avoid the tax penalty when it comes to health care. I would just highly suggest checking with your state and or a tax advisor because it seems that things are just constantly changing, especially with the states. I think there's been some things recently changed. So definitely let's now encourage our listeners, if you're looking for health insurance, go see what your state requires. I think working in insurance for seven years, not in do the life and health or anything like this, but I do know that I was an insurance agent and the laws change constantly in insurance. Those industries like trucking, things are constantly changing. It's hard to keep up with everything. Every day, there's something new. Well, Allison, this definitely sounds like it's a moving target. There are things happening with the ACA. There are things happening in the market. But life continues to move forward, and we need to make sure that we are covered. So I'm sure that's a challenge for you and the team at OOIDA. It's a big challenge. We talk to members every day. You have members that are wanting a comprehensive health care plan, but trying to find a plan that's affordable has been difficult. You have some members who are healthy. They don't care if they have routine doctor's visits or annual wellness exams. They just want something in place if something catastrophic was to happen. It's hard not to find a plan. There's not a one-size-fits-all plan out there. A few minutes earlier, you mentioned OOIDA's minimum essential plan. Can you give us the details? Tell us about that right now. The OIDA minimum essential plan is a plan that's going to cover our members' annual preventative and wellness screenings, immunizations, limited prescription benefits, and virtual medical and emotional telehealth. The telehealth services are convenient for our members who are on the road and away from their primary care physician who are going to need to reach a medical professional by phone, app, or webcam. This is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year that they can utilize this service. Since the pandemic, telehealth services have something that become a more commonly used service. Absolutely. And we are always encouraging the drivers that we talk to that don't have insurance to sign up for a telehealth plan. I know, like you said, a lot of drivers are healthy, so they're only looking for that catastrophic plan. But on the flip side of that, they're not doing the daily, monthly, yearly preventative care that hopefully will prevent some of those catastrophic things. And that's what's so important. And that's why at St. Christopher Fund, we focus on that preventative care. It is so very important, not just the catastrophic. So 
I know that's a change in mindset for a lot of people. And we hear a lot, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Like you say, it's so very expensive. But on the flip side of that, the cost of not having it when something catastrophic does happen, we have drivers that are looking at $100,000, $200,000 medical bills. And then they're like, what do I do? Yeah, when I'm talking to our members, when I tell them that we have our minimum essential plan and they find out we don't have a comprehensive plan, they're like, oh, not interested. But I tell people that this minimum essential plan is a great plan that you can supplement with a catastrophic plan that maybe perhaps doesn't have the minimum essential services built into it. So you can utilize the two plans together because I think we've all been in that mindset and we're a little spoiled with healthcare. Traditional, you had a low deductible 80-20 plan. Between these two plans now, the minimum essential and a catastrophic, I think it's just a great way to pair things together. And Allison, that's a great point. That's something that I hadn't thought about doing kind of a mix and match thing. As you said, you've got your minimum essential plan and you can go out and shop for that catastrophic. Are you finding that more people are doing that? Sounds like you guys at OIDA are putting out there. Are people responding to that option? They are responding to it. I think in the beginning, people are like wanting to put a wall up, like, oh my gosh, no, this is not what I'm looking for. But I try to tell people, you want to at least make sure you have a catastrophic plan in place because you don't want to go bankrupt. You can make your payments if you have like a $10,000, $15,000 deductible. You can make those payments, but when you don't have anything in place, you guys seen it. There's a lot of people that don't have anything out there. Shannon, you guys deal with this on a weekly basis. As you mentioned, people that don't have a catastrophic plan in place or don't have a minimum essential plan in place, they're coming back to you because they have had a large expense at a hospital. And again, St. Christopher doesn't cover hospital expenses, but having a huge medical bill puts pressure on you across the board. It does. And that's one of the things that when drivers have this happen, when they have these huge medical expenses because they didn't have a minimum plan, we work with them to teach them and give them information on how to hopefully get those paid off, either setting up a payment plan, talking about if there's any kind of financial aid that can be applied for at hospitals or doctors. So there's a lot of talk that goes behind the scenes on that, as well as us always encouraging them to get these plans and you think you can't afford it and we see that a lot we can't afford it and by the time they reach us they're not in a great financial position that's why they're reaching out to us but that's why it was so important for us to share the information now for drivers that aren't in those catastrophic situations now's the time to do it you think okay well that's thirty dollars a month i don't want to pay thirty dollars a month. i'm just throwing that number out i'm not saying it's thirty dollars a month (laughs) but you won't miss it after a couple of months it's just automatically going to come out initially you might say oh my gosh that sounds like a lot of money but once it starts coming out it won't be and then you have that peace of mind that's why we're always encouraging people to get these minimum plans get these catastrophic plans get these short-term disability plans because you just don't know what's coming So the OOIDA's minimum essential plan, is that just a basic charge or do the plans vary? It's like typical insurance, your costs might vary based on your age. It might vary based on, gosh, weight, if you're a smoker, if you're not. How does the minimum essential plan work? We have base rates for a member It's $66 a month. For a member and spouse, it's $84.15 per month. For a member and just dependent children only with no spouse coverage is $81.95 per month. And then family coverage would be $107.80 per month. That's something that I feel is very affordable if you take into consideration everything that this plan covers. For women, like your annual mammograms, pap smears, if you have multiple children, the well child checkups, immunizations, vaccinations, those types of services. Which all are very important. Those basic preventative care pieces are a very important part of health care for people. So for the maximum of $107, you can get that coverage for you and your entire family. That is correct. Which is a lot more affordable than some others that I've seen. I'm just going to tell you because my parents have been in insurance and I've been in insurance and are blessed to have good insurance through my husband's company. But gosh, if we had to go out there and find our own, I'm not sure what we would do. 
this sounds like a great option for people. Before we move on to the next thing, let me just say you guys and gals out there on the road really consider OOIDA's minimum essential plan because individual coverage $66, family coverage $107, and there's a couple of options in between there. I'm sure they can find out more about this by going to the website even, or do they need to call? They can go to our website, OOIDA.com, or they can contact our association and ask to speak with a life and health benefits agent. We'd be more than happy to discuss this plan with them and fully explain the benefits and services to them. Excellent. And do you have to be an OOIDA member to get these coverages? Yes, you do. One of the benefits that we offer to our members, I will tell you some of the benefits and services that we have to offer. You have to be working in the trucking industry. And with this particular service, you actually do not have to be working in the trucking industry to utilize it. Just as long as you're a member of the association and you can be a supporter member of our association. Okay, so this is not just focused on drivers. This is for anybody, but you do just have to be a member. Correct. That's fantastic. Are you able to tell us what that membership cost is so people would know? It is $45 annually. $45 yes. a year to have access to these benefits. And I want to throw out a thought to both of you because it just occurred to me that what we're talking about here is really a safety net. The minimum essential plan is really a basic safety net. And when you think about it, professional drivers who get in a cab of a truck and drive it mile after mile are focused on safety. If you think about this, folks, it is just another preventative measure. It's another part of a safety net that you have as a professional driver or, again, by extension, a member of OOIDA. That is a great point. It's a great safety net. Even you're getting your preventative services done. There's so many guys that get busy driving down the road and they don't stop and take the time to go get those annual wellness exams or screenings done. I know they're having to do their DOT physicals, but this covers so many other things as well. Well, and for me, I just want to remind drivers that you all have to do so much preventative maintenance on your equipment, on your trucks, on your trailers, to make sure that they run properly, to make sure that they are safe for the road, to make sure that they get the best fuel mileage. There's so much that you have to do safety-wise, and this is really the same thing for you. You are more important than the equipment that you're driving. We want you to have the coverage that you need to take care of yourself. We want to see at St. Christopher Fund, and I know OOIDA too, we want to see healthy drivers. That comes with preventative health care. It is vitally important. We all want you to not just be healthy while you're on the road, but we want you when you get out of that rig, whenever that is, when you're retiring and getting out of that rig, we want you to be healthy enough to enjoy the rest of your life too. That's a whole back reason why we do a lot of the health and wellness programs that we do at St. Christopher Fund. And really talking about health care, talking about health insurance is just as vital as those other pieces. So it is so very important. Shannon, absolutely. And that's why we're spending the time here to go through the coverages and talk about all that we are here with Allison, with what OOIDA has to offer. And Shannon, I think we need to move now to some of the non health related coverages that are out there. Did you want to talk to Allison about that? Absolutely. We've talked quite a bit about the health related health insurance plan that is available and the levels of that. So we also know there's some non health related types of insurance that are important as well. In case a person's unable to work or gosh, the things that we don't want to talk about, somebody passes away on the road or is involved in an accident. Can you talk to us a little bit about the available types of insurance to cover those things we don't want to think about? Yeah, of course. Sometimes it's hard to plan for the unexpected. I think it's very important that everyone be prepared if something were to unexpectedly happen to them. I think they need to make sure that they have some life insurance, short-term disability, or occupational accident plans in place to cover them and their family. Life insurance is the most obvious coverage to explain, and I think individuals need to stop and think about how much coverage they actually need. For example, are you leaving behind a spouse, children that depend on your income, 
Are you leaving behind a mortgage, a truck loan, and what about burial costs? There are some different types of life insurance plans out there, such as term life insurance, whole life insurance, and even accidental death and dismemberment. And it's extremely important that individuals understand what type of life insurance that they have or that they're even considering purchasing in the future. Can you explain quickly? I feel like some of the information is important because people need to kind of know, they may not know this terminology is what I'm thinking. Give us just like a quick term life insurance versus whole life insurance. Term life insurance is going to be a policy that pays a death benefit to your beneficiaries. If you were to pass away during a specified term due to natural causes or an accident, and there's different types of terms out there. You can have fixed level term where you have the rate locked in for 10, 20, or 30 years, and the premium remains the same throughout. Then you have increasing premium or decreasing value term life insurance. It's cheaper in the beginning, but it's more expensive later on in age, and it'll usually term at age 90. A whole life insurance policy is going to build up cash value that you can use later on in life as a forced savings or as a death benefit. Some whole life or other names would be straight life or ordinary life. A life insurance policy, which is guaranteed to remain in force for the insured's entire lifetime, provided required premiums are paid or to the maturity date. So a basic question you just have to ask yourself, do you want to be covered for a short period of time? or do you want to have coverage for the duration of your life? And this will help us determine what type of life insurance you need to purchase. If you get a term life, can it be rolled to a whole life? Yes, of course. Those policies are out there. There are some people that have a $500,000 term life policy, but they do have the option to roll that over to a $250,000 whole life policy if they choose. And I know this is a lot of information. And like I said, I didn't want to dig too far down in the weeds. But for people that really have never thought about this kind of insurance, life insurance, we get a lot of calls, I'll be honest with you. And it's not something that we're able to help with because it's not in our approved guidelines. But we do have drivers that pass on the road and their families reach out to us, hoping that we can help get them home, hoping we can help them with burial costs. And that's not something we're able to do. This is where life insurance can be so valuable. I mean, even if it's just a minimum policy, it can be so valuable to take some of the burden off of the family members that might be left to pay off some debt because they may not have income coming in after the driver passes. It's a very important piece for people to consider. And that's kind of why I wanted to camp on the life insurance just for a second to really make people think about okay, what do I want to happen if something were to happen to me on the road? What do I want available and there? As Greg mentioned, a safety net for my family. That's what life insurance does. We talk to a lot of spouses that call in because their loved ones passed away. They're just checking for a small benefit and burial costs. Burial costs are outrageous anymore. The family's already grieving and have a lot on their plate that they're dealing with. Making sure that you have a small policy, even if it covers burial costs for the family, will take a huge burden off of them. Absolutely. So talk to us a little bit about the accidental death and dismemberment. Truck drivers are seven times more likely to be killed from a work-related injury than the average worker. This type of coverage will only pay a benefit for accidental death or dismemberment, such as personal vehicle accidents. It will not pay any medical expenses or for the loss due to natural causes such as cancer, heart attack, stroke. We have a lot of people that will purchase our accidental death and dismemberment plan and they fully don't understand how it works. And this kind of goes back to what I said earlier, making sure you understand what type of life insurance coverage you have. Because if you were to pass away of a heart attack, stroke, and even what we dealt with last year and currently dealing with with COVID, If you strictly have this type of policy for life insurance and nothing else, they're not going to pay out for natural causes. And Allison, you've mentioned it, that professional drivers out there are at risk every day. They know that as they get into this industry, but the fact that driving a truck on the highway thousands of miles a year is in the top five of the most dangerous professions in this country really underscores the fact that you need AD&D and you need the disability insurance 
Can you talk about that too? Because Shannon knows when there are accidents that happen, and you know this as well, that sometimes you can't go back to work immediately. There are gaps, and having disability insurance certainly helps in that area. So absolutely, you're 100% correct. It is so important that small business owners have a short-term disability or occupational accident plan in place. They have to take into consideration if they become sick or if they're in an accident and they're not able to work, they need to make sure that they have some sort of income coming in. Our short-term disability or occupational accident plans, they're not intended to replace your whole income, but they're intended to give you some sort of relief and have some benefit coming in. The difference between short-term disability and occupational accident, a short-term disability plan is going to provide you a disability benefit if you have to be off work due to a sickness or an accident, whereas occupational accident Our occupational accident plans, they are actually an alternative coverage for owner-operators or drivers who are not required by law or perhaps a company they lease on with who don't require true statutory workers' compensation. I will tell you that our occupational accident plans, if you're injured in a work-related accident, they're going to assist you with medical expenses, provide you with disability benefits, even a accidental death and dismemberment death benefit. Our policies also have some non-occupational accident benefits built into them. If you are at home and you fell off a ladder and broke your leg, they're going to pay up to $10,000 in medical expenses and also pay reduced death benefits if you were to be killed in a non-work-related accident. Something that is specific built into our occupational accident plans for our OID members is a travel assistant benefit. A lot of people don't realize that that's built into their policy is that if you are more than 100 miles away from home and you were in an accident or you suffered a medical emergency, you or your family can contact that travel assistance line and they will pay and arrange for you to be brought home. Same thing if you had a dependent traveling with you or spouse or child. It's going to cover them as well if you guys are away from home. During a stressful time, that's a nice benefit for our members to have if something were to unexpectedly happen to them. For sure. And as you go through these, one of the things that comes to my mind is evaluating what you need. So what can an owner-operator do to make sure that they have the right coverage needs? We've talked about a lot of things here, and you brought up just a moment ago some of these unique features that some of your benefits have. So how do you go through that evaluation process to know what an owner-operator needs in terms of being covered out there on the road and at home? An owner-operator, or anyone for that matter, needs to understand how an illness, an accident, or death would affect their business and or their family. I just highly suggest that they speak with a professional to discuss their individual needs to see what is going to work best for them. So our recommendation is to call Allison McKay to go through the evaluation process and find out what coverages are going to best suit your needs. What is it that you want to be covered for, need to be covered for? What does your family situation look like, financial situation look like? And she's going to talk you through all of this and explain it more in depth and in layman's terms so we can all understand because we think of insurance. It's like going to the dentist. Nobody wants to do it, right? That's one of the reasons that we wanted to have you on, Allison, and talk about this because this is stuff that nobody wants to talk about, nobody wants to think about, but you really need to because you're not going to leave the yard with your truck without doing a good pre-trip inspection if you're a competent professional driver. You're not going to do it if your fifth wheel's damaged, right? So you want to make sure that you've got insurance, that you're properly covered because as we've talked about, it's not just you, it's your family. I've talked to professional drivers and tons of owner operators for the last 20 years. And if they have family out there, they are focused always on taking care of their family. Insurance ensures that you do that. Yeah, Greg, you're exactly right. And that's why we've said over and over and over, planning ahead, preventative maintenance. The drivers are so very important. You are important drivers. 
men and women behind that wheel, you are important. So you need to invest in yourselves as much as you invest in your job, as much as you invest in your time on the road, as much as you invest into the safety that you put into your job every day, your health, your life is even more valuable than all of that. So that's why we want to make sure you all know what is available to you so you can talk to the professionals at OOIDA and figure out what's best for you. We have another piece to talk about that people may may not think is important, but I tell you anymore with everything and everybody being hacked and people are hacking things for no apparent reason. People hack my Facebook. Why? I have nothing on my Facebook that you need. This is just so not important, but people do it. So we're going to talk about ID theft because our information is out there everywhere these days. So if you think, oh, nobody knows my social security number, do not fool yourself. Everybody knows your social security number or can find it. Allison, let's talk a little bit about ID theft and why somebody would need to have this. Absolutely. Identity theft. Actually, every two seconds, an identity is stolen. As many 9 million Americans fall victim to identity theft each year. And truck drivers are some of the highest risk individuals due to constant traveling and the use of debit and credit cards. Once your identity has been compromised, it can take countless hours and sometimes years to restore. Most banks, credit unions, and credit card companies do offer an identity theft benefit. It's worth checking into. Here at OIDA, we do offer that option as well, and it's a very low cost for either $24 or $36 annually. And again, I recommend that you check with one of these institutions. You're talking $2 or $3 a month. Allison, you mentioned it, credit and debit cards. And I know that I just got a wallet on Father's Day. My daughter got it for me. My other one was wearing out. She got this wallet and said, look, it protects you from your chips being scanned. And I never thought about that. So there's all kind of ways that people are hacking you these days. And particularly if you're out there at Fuel Islands, you're traveling as professional drivers do. It's just smart to spend three or four dollars a month to make sure that you're covered. Absolutely. I mean, that's just one of the costs that you really do need to make sure that you have in place. The low cost of $3 a month it is worth the investment for long term down the road. Shannon, this has been a terrific discussion that we've had. Is there anything else that you wanted to ask Allison? We've talked about a lot. We know it's a lot of information, but Allison, is there anything else we haven't covered that you think is important for our listeners to know about? I think retirement is something that listeners should think about. I assume that everyone wants to retire one day. If they haven't already done so, I strongly urge them to start saving for your retirement now. You would be surprised how much a small monthly contribution can grow. And I'm going to encourage you to speak with a certified financial planner who can help you work towards your goals and who can give you unbiased, personalized advice and develop a plan based on your unique goals and circumstances. I know that I've given a lot of information to listeners today to think about, but I'm speaking from personal experiences when I urge you to also look into all the coverages that I've mentioned today. If you already have policies in place, be sure that you understand what you are covered for and that it will be enough in the event you need to use it. Be sure that you have clear beneficiaries designated, that you have a power of attorneys in place, that you have additional names on your bank accounts, vehicles, and et cetera, and that you keep these up to date. If you have a significant life event, you might need to make a change. It's important that your beneficiaries or executors of your estate know where you have these coverages and where they need to call in the event that you aren't able to. I really can't stress enough the importance of this. I know that you all work very hard for your money, so make sure you're insuring it and yourself wisely. Absolutely. A great point. You all work hard for your money. So let's make sure that it's working for you as well. So Allison, we have thoroughly enjoyed having you on here. It is a lot of information. It's a lot of things that people really don't want to think about. They don't want to talk about, but every piece of this is so very important. So I hope you all will take some time to go to the OOIDA website, look through the information that's there. And if you have any questions, I'm sure Allison McKay, life and health agent at OOIDA would be more than happy to hop on a conversation and answer some questions and explain some things in more details. I just urge you all think about it 
take the time to consider it. At least make the phone call and find out how it all works, what it's going to cost you, what you're covered for. You are worth the investment. So thank you, Allison, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure speaking with you guys today. Once again, thank you for listening to Highway to Hope on the Pod Wheels Network. The Highway to Hope is the official podcast of the St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund. The St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund is a charity that helps over the road and regional truck drivers and their families when an illness or injury occurring within the last year has caused them to be out of work. SCF is also working to provide programs, including health and wellness initiatives, that are designed to benefit professional drivers and the trucking industry. If you are a professional truck driver or a family member of a driver who's in need of assistance following an illness or injury, please visit the organization's website at truckersfund.org. That's truckersfund.org. Over its history, the St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund has raised more than $3 million through the generous support of donations by corporate sponsors, groups, and countless individuals who are part of the trucking community at large. The need for assistance for professional drivers and their families has never been greater. SCF is continually working to grow its donor base, and you might be able to help in the effort to pay it forward through SCF. If you are interested in becoming a supporter of the work done by SCF, please visit truckersfund.org and click on the Donate button. Visit truckersfund.org and consider making a donation today. We'll have more new episodes of The Highway to Hope coming your way in the near future. The Pod Wheels Network is proud to produce The Highway to Hope podcast in collaboration with the St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund. We'd like to hear from you, our listeners. Please send your questions, your comments, and your ideas for what you'd like to hear on the podcast to the following email address, info at podwheelsnetwork.com. That's info at podwheelsnetwork.com. The Pod Wheels Network would like to thank you for connecting with us today. You can stay up to date on the latest from the Pod Wheels Network by downloading the Pod Wheels app. It's available in the Apple Store and on Google Play. Just search Pod Wheels in either store and download the app. As we close out this edition of the Highway to Hope podcast, the St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund and the Pod Wheels Network send our best for your continued safe travels on our nation's highways. And especially these days, remember taking good care of your health is one of the key components to staying safe on the road and staying safe at home. So with every mile you drive and during your time at home, let's stay safe and healthy out there. <laughs>